Hello and welcome to the ninth video of this series on how to use the TI Inspire. In this video, we'll learn how to create matrices and use some of the more frequently used operations in the matrix and vector section of the calculator. So there's not that many uh, linear algebra or matrix and vector questions asked on calculator and math, um, but the ones that are asked are mainly from the same few couple of things, like the few um, programs that I'm going to show you now. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to have to know is how to create a matrix. So that to do that, you go to Menu, and then 7 for Matrix and Vector, 1 for Create, and then I'll do 1 for Matrix. So this is going to come up. It's going to ask you how many rows and how many columns you want. So um, I'm going to stick with a 2x2 two two matrix. Um, let's say you wanted to make it a 3x3. Three three. Um, this number is already highlighted, so to make it a 3, all you have to do is type the number 3. And then you'll notice that if you try to arrow down, it'll just decrease the number of rows. So if you're trying to get down to the number of columns, you have to click Tab. So I'm going to make this a 3x3. Three three. I'll click Enter. And maybe my matrix will look something like this. OK, that's my matrix. So there's a few things we can do with this. Um, one of them is we can find the determinant. So if I'm trying to find the determinant of this matrix, I go to matrix vector, and then you see number 3 is for determinant. So I click that, and then I can do either control answer, or I can just put this here. And we get a determinant of 0. Um, by the way, you can only take determinants of square matrices. So you can only take a determinant if the number of rows and the number of columns are the same. So, I mean, that's about it for the determinant. There's not really much to matrices on UIL because a lot of them are more advanced, um, like more advanced linear algebra concepts than they ask. Um, I mean, for all I know, next year he's going to go super in on linear algebra like he did on statistics. But for now, um, for now, those are really the two things you need for matrices. There are some other things that you can use for vectors, and all of those are going to be under C right here. So you can use, you can find the unit vector, cross product, dot product, all of these other things. Um, the rectangular, rectangular, cylindrical, and spherical, uh, you can, you can use these. He doesn't really ask much of this kind of thing. Um, and personally, I find it's much quicker to just do the, the normal operation. So I never I never use those. But these top three are are worth mentioning. So the first thing is unit vector. And what the unit vector does is it takes um, it takes a certain vector. So say I have a vector two comma three, and it outputs the vector that has a length of one but also points in the same direction. Oh, I typed it in wrong. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Here we go. Yes. So whenever you type it into unit vector, you have to use not curly braces, but these like square brackets. And you get to that by doing control and then left parenthesis. So here is our vector, right? It goes two in the x direction, three in the y direction. And this vector right here points in the same direction, but only has an only has a length of one. Now, the other one um, is the determinant. Um, not the determinant, um, the dot product. Uh, I'm going to skip the cross product right now, but if you go to the dot product, um, let's say I want to find the dot product of 1, 2, and 3, 4. It would spit out just 11. But if you know how to calculate the dot product, this isn't this this program probably isn't necessary, right? To, to find the dot product, you're just doing one times three, two times four, and then adding them together. Um, the one that I do use pretty frequently because the formula for it is a little bit complex is the cross product. So I go to vector, and then number two is for cross product. So let's say I want to find the cross product between these two vectors. Right, it would output that. Um, if you're not really familiar with what dot product and cross product are or what they're used for, that that's for a separate video. This right now is just for 
how do I type this in, basically. Okay, so that is about it. The, the only other thing that I can think of is if you have a list, or wait, no, never mind. Never mind, I was thinking of something different. Yeah, well, that's about it. There's not that much to the matrix and vector on, on these UIL tests. Um, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, well, so I guess if you learned something, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If there's something you think I skipped, which with, with probably, probably didn't skip anything because it's not that much to it on this calculator. But if you think there's something I skipped or should have gone into in more detail, don't be afraid to leave a comment. And I will see you in the next video.